this is basically the storm that never really materialized so um i'll put together a little video yeah you can watch it if you want <laughs> And uh, there's a few little good things in there, but unfortunately, it's not the big storm we all anticipated. So, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this little montage of what I've found today. All right, it's 8.45 and it's uh, just starting to snow here in Fort Erie. Alright, it's not quite the storm we're meant to be having. Um, they were forecasting a big storm. It's nothing like Newfoundland storm of 70 centimetres. We're looking, we've got like five or six down on the ground right now. Uh, but the snow has now turned to rain and uh, the winds are expected to pick up quite significantly in the next uh, two hours. It is now 7 pm and I just seen a weather warning on the lake for uh, up to 100 kilometer an hour winds even though the weather network is showing less uh, but uh, another weather module is showing much higher with 15 foot waves expected in a couple of hours uh, at this end of Lake Erie so we're gonna have a drive around the, uh, the Fort Erie region so we can see and um, this rain will probably turn back to snow and freeze so it could be a bit of fun for the next couple of hours so uh, let's see what we can find All right, you can tell by the sound, uh, the wind has really started to pick up. And down by the river here, at the, by the Peace Bridge, as you can tell from behind me, that is the Peace Bridge and that is Buffalo just over there. And uh, yeah, the water levels aren't that high just yet, but I'm sure the next few minutes or the next hour, they'll start increasing quite significantly. Uh, what is interesting is, just over here, uh, Niagara Parks has already closed the road off. So I guess they're anticipating a flood. So we'll come back and check on this area shortly. So let's have a little drive around and see what else we can find. Well, that changed fast as you can tell it's uh, really whipping up now and it's gone really cold as well
What a great location, eh? What a beautiful backdrop behind me of Buffalo. Lakeshore Road. Niagara River crashing away behind me. Should not wish for a big storm because all these people are going to clean it up when it comes. But for me, being someone who loves a good storm, I want to see it. I'm down by the uh, on the Niagara Boulevard right now by the uh, rail bridge and of all the years I've lived here I've never seen a train come over this and there's one coming right now what are the chances of that They have it, a train coming over from the United States, heading back into Canada. Oh, this really, really cold, sorry, this really, really cool old bridge. How cool was that? That is what you call perfect timing. Okay, good morning. Uh, yesterday's storm was very much anticlimactic. However, this morning's a completely different kettle of fish. It's icy, there's snow squalls, and it's bloody cold. I've got the big coat on now, which in Manchester terms means a bloody big jacket. All right, just to give you a sense of how cold it is down here. It's currently minus three, but the wind's pretty strong. So it's actually around a wind chill of like minus 15 right now. So these surfers, <laughs> they got big kahunis, man, big. If you like what you see on this channel, I uh, would uh, most appreciate it if you kind of hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. I uh, really, really would appreciate that. 
a lot. Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, please make sure you subscribe.